Hey guys, in today's tutorial we're just going to build a quick seek bar. You can scroll from 0 to 10 and um, yeah, I'll show you an example. It's super simple and it should take less than 3 minutes. Here are Android Studio Project, uh, empty activity. I'm going to call this seek bar example. And then just heading into the layout, the XML file. I'm just going to change this to a linear layout, set the orientation to vertical. And then I'm going to get rid of all this constraint layout stuff. I'm just going to say layout gravity center. Uh, text size is equal to 50 SP, margin at the top we're going to give it 40 DP, uh, text color of black, then I'm just going to declare the seek bar and I'm going to give it a width of 200 DP, height wrap content, layout gravity of center as well, and we're just going to give it a little bit of margin at the top, so 50 DP there, scale X2 and scale Y2, so just make the whole thing a little bit bigger. I'm giving it a max of 10, so it can go up to 10, and progress of 5, so what it is by default, what it is at the start is 5. And then I'm just going to give it an ID there, so seek bar ID, and I'm going to give my text view an ID, so text view ID there as well. And I'm going to change the text to rating and 5, because that's what our current progress is. And then I'm just going to head into our main activity, and I'm just going to declare our seek bar, so seek bar, and then I'm going to declare our text view, and then I'm just going to find that by ID. So seek bar is equal to seek bar, find view by ID, seek bar ID. And so I'm just casting that there and do the same thing for the text view, find by ID. And then I'm just going to say seek bar dot set on change listener. And then I'm going to say new seek bar dot on seek bar change listener and just auto complete those override methods. And then in on progress changed, I'm just going to say text view dot set text to rating. And then I'm going to give it I, which is actually, it's really progress. So I'm going to change that to progress. If we go and run this now, you can see we've got a pretty basic rating system going there, so you can go up and down 0 to 10. And if you wanted to change the progress and the max, it's pretty simple to do. You just change, I'm just going to change progress here to 0, and I'm going to change the max to 100, and you can see now we've got a rating out of 100.